All right, everybody. Thank you again so much for joining me for this experience, for this workout. Welcome to Moto Sumo. My name is Dallas, just like the city of uh, Texas. I think that there's also a Dallas somewhere. Isn't there a Dallas in another state somewhere? No? Okay, maybe you don't know. Either there is not another state, uh, I'm sorry, another city named Dallas, or you just simply don't know. Either way, that is my name. Right, this is my real name, not a made up name. All right, listen, have some fun today. As I always do my best to remind you, do things that make sense, do things that feel right, take breaks when you need to, work a little bit harder than I ask you to whenever you want to. And my job is simply to help you help this go by as quickly as possible. We today have I've J Babe and Amy on the leaderboard. So if you like any of their names, feel free to join them on the leaderboard. They are here and they are here for you, to help you, to encourage you, uh, and everything in between and all the surplus, all right? Volume is going up right now. I am going to take my time today explaining to you the different um, resistances. I don't want to be in a rush. All right, so I'll explain different resistances to you, the different RPM zones and things of that nature. Um, again, as always, just have fun with it, all right? First song is officially on right now. So there are three things that you want to keep in mind for all Moto Sumo rides. You have two positions. You have four resistance levels and you also have four RPM zones. Right now, we should all be at resistance one. So once you get to resistance one, you want to think about warming up. Right, you want to think about your body waking up. Maybe you've been seated for a really long period of time today. You know, maybe you 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 have a desk job, you have an office job. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with. I mean, if you hate your job, then I guess there, there's a problem with it. All right, but if you don't, all right, if you don't hate your job, then there's no problem at all with that job. Um, but you definitely want to get your body moving. Right, maybe you want to roll out your neck, roll out your your, your shoulders or, or something like that. Right, but this resistance one is such an important resistance for us to, to, to keep in mind when we are not only recovering, but again, also when we are just waking up and warming up our body. And that can mean different things to different people. That might mean that you want to jog, right? Maybe you like you're a runner and you like jogging and that's what resistance one means to you. Then that's what you want to do. And then when you start to think about resistance too, you know, I love the idea of a changed terrain. I love the headwind. Uh, you, I, I, you know, some of you know, I love the idea of a slower animal chasing you from behind. Now, anything like that, as long as you still have this idea of being on a flat road, you're good. All right, and then we'll talk about resistances three and four as we continue to get a little bit deeper into the warm up. All right, but for right now, resistance one, remember your warm up resistance, your jogging resistance on a scale of one to ten, it should feel like a six out of ten. Have you ever heard about the, the RPE scale, the rate of, per, or, or it was the, I think it's the, the, the rating or rate of perceived exertion? Have you ever heard of that? Okay, cool, great. All right, so that's the thing. I read it for you. I think it's usually one to 12, but I just think that 10 is a little bit easier. Amy, let's go for our first verse of speed. RPMs are going up in three, two, one. Let's go. Now, if you take a look at your personal RPM meter, you will find a couple things there. Um, one of those things is you'll find numbers, right? So obviously you wanna do your best to stay somewhere within the range, if there is a range. Right now, there is not one. In 10 seconds, I want everyone to slow down. You have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, good job. So the other thing that you have with the RPM zone is the color. So right now, let's all try to get either green or yellow on our RPM. Let's make sure that we get there as soon as we can, actually. All right, minimum 70, maximum 109. Minimum 70, maximum 109. In 10 seconds, you have resistance two. As you go into resistance two, remember some of the things we talked about. Three, two, one, let's go. 
If you're a runner, maybe you're just picking up your pace a little bit more, right? Maybe there, there is a headwind that's hitting you out of nowhere. You know, maybe you like to run up, uh, you know, run up and down little hills that go like this. I don't know, right? Maybe you like the idea of maybe not like a baby snail, but maybe like a, a baby penguin or even a full grown penguin chasing you from behind. Right, whatever helps you with this idea of resistance too, that you have to move a little bit faster and recruit some more muscle fibers, do that. Jay, babe, I'm not going to ask you for another increase in your RPM. I am about to ask you for an increase in your resistance. So let's talk about resistances three and four. In eight seconds, all I want you to do is increase your resistance, and then I'll tell you what it should feel like. Three, two, one, let's go. So now as you're getting into resistance three, you want to think about going uphill. You know, if you are a bike rider, uh, you, you just out of nowhere, for whatever reason, there's just this wonderful, beautiful, fantastic mountain or incline of some sort that you are now traveling up. Right, you have to dig a little bit deeper and your RPMs will fall down a little bit. And once that happens, allow it to. Don't fight it, but embrace it. Now, my friend, you are a runner. Right, you're a runner. Have you ever ran upstairs like bleachers at a stadium? Something like that today. All right, resistance through running up the bleachers, running up the stairs. And getting a little aggressive while you do it, right? Actually pushing your feet into the ground, actually forcing your feet into the pedals. Resistance four for the final 45 seconds of our warm up. Everything that I just said with an additional headwind. Three, two, one, let's go. Don't be afraid of the blue RPM zone if you want it, take it. Lisa, welcome, thank you for joining us. The blue or the green RPM zone right now is recommended. Everybody, let's get there. Fifteen. And your warm up is over. Uh oh. Hey, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all the way down to resistance one. So listen, I don't want resistance four to feel left out, but I also didn't want to talk to you too much during resistance four. There will be an opportunity to revisit that a little bit later today. So if you're struggling with understanding the different resistances, I, 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 I want to give you a little bit of an overview. Resistance one and two, you want to think flat roads. Resistance three and four, you want to think about going uphill. Primary difference between resistances one and two, you want to think about a headwind or a parachute or something, you know, under your feet, the terrain, under your feet changing, sand, uh, mud. I, sometimes I almost say quicksand, but not quicksand, you know, like sand, mud. Something that challenges you to recruit a few more muscle fibers. Resistance three and four, going uphill, maybe instead of just going uphill like this, you start to go uphill like that, right? Just, just a little bit, a little bit more steep. Maybe you like the idea of running or walking upstairs, right? You have to dig and you have to fight, right? Maybe you're carrying someone up the stairs. I don't know, but it should feel tough, right? 10 out of 10 effort when we go to resistance four. But for right now, let's say at resistance one. Minimum 80, maximum 100. Let's do it. Is this not enjoyable right now? Just riding right here, not changing anything, not straying right or left. Say yes. 
All right, good. Now that I saw that one starry-eyed emoji, you have a five-minute timer on your screen. In approximately 17 seconds, we want to increase our resistance without allowing our RPMs to drop down. This is where the work restarts again. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Your brush should start to get a little more shallow. Right? You just start to, to breathe a little bit deeper. Listen, just about any time I ask you to make a change in your resistance on your RPM, you should feel like something different is happening, not just in your legs, but in your breath, right? That it's becoming a little bit more challenging. And the closer you get to that feeling of breathlessness, the better, right? 100% the better. Minimum 80, maximum 100. That still has not changed. Good. Resistance is going up again. Remember what I said about getting close to that feeling of breathlessness. That is your goal at some point during this five minute timer. Three, two, let's go. Well, Dallas, is this all we're going to do during this five minute timer? Possibly. I mean, hey, why not? Why not work on our resistance? and our speed endurance, just a little bit. In 10 seconds, you have the opportunity to increase your resistance yet again. Three, two, let's go. Now my on-demand friends, I do not want you to feel left out. You know, I don't want you to feel like just because we don't know your name that you're not there. So I'm going to ask all of my friends who are currently on the leaderboard to also post some emojis as well. Something motivating to our on-demand friends. Something that lets them know that they are right here with us, even though it may not be at the same exact time, they're still right here with us. Keep going. OMG Dallas, I love the RPE scale thing. Could you, could you tell me where you want me to feel, you know, where you want me to be on that scale? Absolutely, absolutely I can tell you. Over this final 100 seconds that have already started, can we get close to a nine out of 10 effort? Remember breathlessness, right? You shouldn't be able to do this for much more than 80 more seconds. AJ, babe. Ah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. When it starts to feel a little tiring or feel a little exhausting, just do your best to enjoy what is going on right now. I know, it can be tough. Right, it can be tough, but I promise you, if you just put your mind to it, you got it. Don't stop. Is anybody ready for the blue RPM zone? Amy, you didn't even let me finish my question. Don't go there yet. Jay Rabbit, join us again. Even if it's for like three or four seconds, join us again. Final 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One, good job, good job, good job. Oh, man. Take your time, catch your breath. If you need a sip, if you need a dab, I want you to take it. That was all about our endurance. All about our endurance. A little bit of strength, I guess. Right, I asked you to increase your resistance two or three times. Now, we're just working on our strength alone. So get ready to return to resistance three. Now, as you transition back into resistance three, you don't wanna be in all out mode. All right, you wanna make sure that you're taking a step. All right, taking step by step. Anybody know that song, step by step? Right, working your way to an all out effort. So let's call this next little, uh, next little increase work mode, go. Are you ready to stretch out your legs? Position two, yes? Let's do it. Four, three, two, let's go. You're taking a seat, but nothing is changing. Four, three, two, one. Take a seat, but nothing is changing. Hey, does it not feel like we have not sprinted in a little while? It does, doesn't it? That's probably because we haven't. With that being said, we're still not going to. We're going to keep moving on up, step by step on our resistance. So when I count you down, 60 seconds of an all out effort that is resistance based. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Remember you don't want to take your time getting here. You want to do it as soon as possible. ASAP. A-S-A-P. We love this song. It's a beautiful song to do this drill to. Hey, try to force the blue RPM zone. If you can, try to force the blue RPM zone. Let's dig deep. Remember what we said about resistance for our all out effort. Man, it sounded like a song stopped. I was going to be so sad and so afraid. Your all out effort going uphill, right? Dragging, you know, maybe, maybe double your body weight behind you for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Drop it all the way back down to resistance three. <laughs> Still recovering, right? Still recovering, just doing it at a light resistance and a slower pace. So make sure that that is where your heart is right now, that you're in recovery mode. No surprises, no tricks. 60 seconds again, one minute, yet again. In three, two, one, let's go, let's go, let's go. Jay, babe, I said that this was all about our strength here. I did not lie, and I did warn, and I did let you know ahead of time, so you should be ready for it, and you know how it feels. Three, two, one.
30 down, you have less than 30 to go. Keep it up. You have eight, six, four, two. Good job. Ladies, gentlemen, girls, boys, all the way down to resistance one. All the way down to resistance one. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Ah! Yes! Water is an option. Towel is an option, of course. Hopping off of your bike, not an option. You must stay on it. You must keep your legs moving. And of course, you must be in recovery mode right now. Take your time. I think that that's self-explanatory. But if for whatever reason, right now, you're going, going, going and gone, you want to slow your legs back down, right? Drop your resistance down. If you like the RPE scale thing, five, six. Not so much that your body feels like it's falling asleep, but definitely enough that you uh, are not overworking yourself. What song is this? Oh, I was like, why are you so excited about it? Because I couldn't hear it yet. It's how God works. Play my position with his given with no concerns. Set it out. In 10 seconds, we're all joining each other once again. I want you to imagine yourself going through your childhood park. Right? You're going through your childhood park and you're playing tag. Have you played tag before? All right, so that's what this is going to kind of be like here. So when you're ready, go back to resistance two. Now, I don't want to waste your time explaining resistance to again. But just in case you have forgot, you are still, you know, on the idea of a flat roll, uh, you know, just moving around. And I'm gonna tell you what I want you to think about during these sprints. Position two, three, two, one, let's go. So listen, for 20, Seconds. I want you to imagine yourself playing tag, and when the person gets close, you run away. Three, two, one, let's go. Take a seat, now run away. Run away, you were hiding, right? You were in a good spot. You were aware of your surroundings. They got really, really, really close to you. But now you have to get away, now you have to run. Seven, faster. Five, three, one. Good job. Oh man, you got away. They got tired. You found another good hiding space. I don't know if your, uh, you know, if your childhood park had good hiding spaces, but mine did. Told me, baby, meet me at the bank. Told me, mama, I'ma break the train. Locked in, I'ma change the weight. Working for them big baby's kids. Hard times couldn't make it. Oh no! Working hard. I think they caught their breath. We're gonna do it again. Taking a seat. Getting away again. Three, two, come on, let's go. Whatever you do, don't look back. Please, don't look back. Got my back against the wall. Bet I always pull through. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Faster. Wait, why is my RPM meter still in blue? There it goes. Three, two, one more time. Slowing your legs down and getting out of your seat. Hands towards the near handlebars. Knees driving forward just a little bit. Oh, man. J Babe, tag is tiring. No, very, very tiring. No sleeping while I I was more of a kickball kid. Matter of fact, I can't wait to play kickball at like a family reunion or something like that. Oh wait, one more time. Three, two, one. Let's go. 19, 18, 17. I don't know how to count down from there. You live in boring, I'm gonna set it down. Shooting I'm scoring, I'm gonna set it down. 
like soldiers torn. Five, three, one. Good job. Now, let's all head. You know what? One of these days, I am going to do an entire class that feels like we're at the park. Honestly, I think that I might have now come up with a different way to communicate. That's one of the challenges of these classes. You know, we talk about it from time to time. That's one of the challenges in these classes. You know, making you be able to relate to this in like a real life kind of sense, right? Taking you from off of a bike that doesn't move anywhere and taking you into the real world. You know, but if we can just think about maybe sometimes being at the park, right? Being on an actual bike ride, uh, being on a literal run. You, you know, man, it's so challenging, but I think I'm gonna start to use the park a little bit more. Today, we're just playing tag. Make sure you get your agua. Remember the cold water fountain and the, the, the less cold water fountain? Oh man. All right, two minute timer coming up. Listen, I have some fantastic memories about the park. Actually, I don't have that many fantastic memories about the park. I thought that it sounded good in the moment. I was more of an indoor kid. All right, here we go. Every 20 seconds, we're increasing RPM. I usually do every 30 seconds. When I count you down, 70 to 85. All right, 70 to 85, four, three, two, let's go. As we go through this two minutes, we should actually feel, yet again, our breath getting shorter and shorter and shorter, right? Even more and more shallow, not to the point that we can't keep going, right? But just enough that we do feel challenged. Minimum 80, maximum 95. Let's go. Jay Rabbit, are we allowed to drop our resistance down as we go through this? Of course we are. Jay Babe, answer for you, Jay Rabbit. Minimum 90, maximum 105. I imagine that that's because Jay Babe was doing it anyway, whether she was allowed or not. Go. In eight seconds, a little more RPM. Four, three, two, let's go. Notice this time I just said a little more RPM. That's all I said. I didn't say anything specific. For the final 20 seconds though, I do want to get a little more specific. Red RPM zone for the final 20. Love it, In how three, you two, me. one, let's go, let's go, let's go. Can we just touch the red RPM zone? Even if we don't necessarily stay there. Amy is there. Can we just touch it? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Good job. Good job. Keep allowing your legs to move. Oh, man. Remember, recovery. Right? Breathe. Don't stress yourself. Don't overwhelm yourself. And every time that you come across my mind, I should also probably start doing vocabulary words of the day. I learned today that the word sundry means various. An interesting vocabulary. Actually, vocabulary is an interesting vocabulary word, and I've said this before, but for some really strange reason, we have the habit of referring to only words that we perceive to be advanced vocabulary words, such as perceive as vocabulary words, when in all reality, all words are vocabulary words. But we say vocabulary because we want to sound sophisticated. It's just amazing. You know, when you get into the mind of a human being, it's amazing. Considering you are a human being. Anyway, rest and recovery is over. 85 to 105. Let's go. 
time that you come around my way. J Babe, what do you say? We do our first race of the day. That's it, J Babe. Those are the exact emojis that represent race. Thank you so much for being excited about our first race of the day. Ladies, gentlemen, girls, boys, inanimate objects. 30 seconds of high RPM. Three, two, let's go. Wait, who just joined? Did someone just join? Am I not mis am I mistaken? 18 seconds. Oh, it's Alan. Alan, hey. Wait, is that not Alan? Alan? Okay, maybe it's not Alan. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Good job. Good job. Wait. Oh my. Okay, so, Alan, I see what you tried to do there, but unfortunately, you were indeed a part of the race. Uh, so, you should have just stayed out with me. You know, you might have helped us out a little bit. But anyway, hey, you are officially my friends at what I describe to be your active recovery. All right, so once you brought your breathing back down, feel free, take a sip, take a dab. Again, active recovery is no different. Matter of fact, the only difference between the active recovery and all the other little opportunities for recovery in between intervals is that this one's just a little bit longer. Okay, so take your time, relax, maybe you want to give this a little bit of a therapeutic moment. You, you, you don't want to feel overwhelmed, you don't want to feel stressed, you don't want to feel bothered. By the way, we are officially at 10 minutes remaining. Why am I telling you that we're at the last 10 minutes? Because, boom, purple is here. You give me motivation, make my life vacation. When we are together, I surrender. I think that this is a nice active recovery song. Uh, I, mean, you know, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Have you ever heard of the song, uh, oh my gosh, what's the name of this song? I think it's called Young Turks. Anyone know the song Young Turks? Alan, by any chance, do you know the song Young Turks? Okay, never mind. That song would have been perfect right here, but we have this song instead. So, we are now exiting the active recovery that we were just once in. So instead of being in active recovery, let's take it back to what I call work mode. Right, not all out mode, but work mode. So take it step by step, not just shooting there immediately. Minimum 70, maximum 89, green RPM, let's go. I want to give you two opportunities to work your resistance. This is how we feel about working resistance. Just like that. Now listen, it's going to be 40 seconds with more resistance. So what do you want to feel like? You want to feel like just, just out of nowhere, right? For whatever reason, the winds of a storm are coming against you. Three, two, one, let's go. Resistance up. One day I might take us through a storm. All right, so I'm going to take us through the park one of these days. Another day I'm going to take us through a storm that we all survive. Uh, 
I don't know, maybe even a basketball game or a football or a soccer game or something like that. Right? Just give us, give us little different things to think about. Let's make riding a bike that doesn't move anywhere more fun. 10 seconds. Resistance down. In five. Top, top, that top, top, but you know three. That's waste. You can fool One. Fan, you can fool the grand. Resistance down. Let it all go. I don't trick tricks, saw money in uh -oh. for the legacy. I ain't great. 45 second recovery. We'll do it one more time. Assets. Get ready. That drill talk, full plate, that mill talk. I've been building for the past five. Breaking Wait, why? Drill talk. Let's why are some of you ready to go to the yellow RPM zone? You don't like green? Wanna be like your favorite rep, but your favorite rep, feel it real off. Made three piece that's back to back. I said back some like of you, when it's really just one of you. But you know, that's what you do when you don't want to. They sleep, sleep, you know, you want to like take it too them. specific, call anyone out. No weakness when I work, work, got power strength. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. 40 nah, seconds. Nah, Come around like Three. Rah, 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 rah. Two. Talk it all that Let's blah, go. Blah, blah, blah. J Babe, I'm hoping that by now, more than 35 minutes into our ride, you trust me. Like, you trust me. Like, when I say 40 seconds, I mean 40 seconds. That's another challenging part about being a communicator to people. You know, gaining people's trust. Now, someone might be doing this for the first time. Like, what qualifies this guy to tell me anything whatsoever? Six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm sorry we're not going to the yellow RPM zone just yet. But we will be headed there soon. Position two. Three. Two. Let's go. Have you ever thought about that concept? Like going to a new workout place. You know, new gym. It's like, I, mean, I hope I know what this guy or this lady's talking about. You know, my health is at risk. But I can only imagine that this company has done its due diligence. Especially living in a world like today, where it's so much about, uh, you know, influence and, you know, who looks good or who sounds good and status and things of that nature. Uh, listen, if you go to a gym, I'm not trying to get you out of your gym. All right, don't go to your gym asking, you know, hey, did you guys, hey, would you guys cross-examine all these people? Don't do that. Resistance three. If you're not already there, going uphill. Three, two, one, let's go. I'm an interesting person, by the way, to talk to about life. I think I just told you that with that uh with those last couple of comments. Without changing a single thing, allow us to drop our butts down. Four. Amy, do we have, a, are we allowed to? Okay, thank you, Amy. Three, two, one, take a seat. Oh, I was waiting for you to put the thumbs up and you just never put it. I got to make sure that we're allowed at this point. Listen, I just want to do one more 40 second challenge just one one single 40 second challenge with our resistance yes we've been working our resistance all day i don't get to do stronger together very often so welcome four three two one let's go let's go let's go down all the way 
two, resistance, one. Now listen, remember what I said about resistance one. Did our warm up or our recovery resistance. So right now, for just a moment, There's remember, a you want to recover. You want to catch your breath. You should not be going at an all out effort. That last interval should have been more than tough enough, right? Nine out of 10 effort, right? Going uphill, digging deep, thinking about that moment in the park that we talked about. You know, you just have to, you have to run as fast as you can. Anything like that, okay? I have one more race for you today. Can you handle one more race today? Say yes. Perfect. Once you have caught your breath, once you have enjoyed resistance one enough, I want you to transition into resistance two. Let's go. Now remember what happens as we get back into resistance two. Breath a little more shallow, right? A little bit deeper, but we're still on a flat surface. We are not yet going uphill, right? No mountains, no stairs, no anything like that. But Amy, J-Babe, Brooke is now joining us. Wait, Brooke, why are you underneath all of us? Anyway, 30 second race to wrap this up. All right, half a minute, all out effort. Imagine, have you ever played baseball or softball before? Ever played baseball, softball? Okay. So if you played baseball before, then you know what it's like to bring it home. Well, I hope that you imagine what it's like to bring it home. Now, if you don't know what that's like, it does not mean that you are not a great baseball player. It simply means that you've never been put in the right position, right? You never, you never put in a position to be successful, and that's not your fault. That's whoever was in charge of the team's fault. Lucky for you, I'm in charge of this team, and everyone is at third base. In approximately 10 seconds, all right, approximately 10 seconds, we got a ground ball. I need you to run home. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, done, done, done. Excellent job. Excellent work. Baby girl, you're so fine. I can't get you off my mind. Oh girl, na na. Oh girl, na na. Baby girl, don't need to flex. Dance to the rhythm and you do all right, now that the volume's down a little bit, I hope that you got something out of that. I hope that you felt good, fantastic, even during that final little great race, that final little push. Um, we only have about 90 seconds before the program is over, right? Before the program is over. So stretch with me, begin the process of cooling down if you can, if you're able to by simply rolling out your neck, maybe even rolling out your shoulders. Oh, man. How do you feel? Let's do an emoji party. How do you feel? And then when you're ready, reach your hands towards the end of your handlebars, pushing your hips. Also, again, towards the handlebars, arching your back, stretching it all out, but finding relaxation in your shoulders. Oh man, if you ever feel like you're tense, relax your mind first and everything else will relax itself as well. Opposite foot goes forward. I want to remind you that you can reach out to me on Instagram at underscore Dallas J if you ever need some. Elbows drop down. Switch feet, opposite foot forward. Calves and hamstring stretch. This was a variation of our signature ride. Our signature ride could be different on any day. 
there is no standard format as far as RPMs or anything like that. We can focus on speed, we can focus on resistance, we can focus on endurance, we can focus on whatever we want to focus on. Um, but, all right, you know, when it comes to other classes, don't be afraid to just reach out to us. Listen, we finish on time here, so we are done. Have a fantastic rest of whatever, wherever you are, and I'll see you when I see you.